In our previous course, What is Simulation?, we got a sneak peek into OnScale Solve and its simulation capabilities. In this course, we will take a deeper look at the ins and outs of OnScale Solve. OnScale Solve has an approachable user interface that allows engineers and designers to solve complex problems of varying physics. Let's start on the OnScale Solve account homepage. Here you see your recent projects, your simulation studies, and the available cloud hours allocated to your account. In OnScale Solve, from the Projects tab of the dashboard, create a new project. Enter a name for your project and click Create. In this lesson, we are going to be focusing on a static structural stress analysis of a hip implant. Hip implants are used for people who need to have their hip joint replaced by a prosthetic implant in order to relieve arthritis pain and severe hip fractures. The implant must be able to handle the weight of the human and the stress of daily physical activity. This is the main simulation user interface for OnScale Solve. As you see here, we are currently in the modeler stage. There's also a physics stage, simulator stage, and results stage. Let's begin by importing our CAD model. Click the Import CAD button. As you can see here, there are several models provided by OnScale. However, we are importing our own model, so go to the Upload tab and browse for the hip implant file. Note that your file must be in step file format in order to import it into OnScale Solve. OnScale Solve then prompts you to pick an initial contact, to which we will pick Bonded, then click Upload. The model is now present in our OnScale Solve workspace. First, we need to assign a material to our implant. Using the tree or the 3D viewer, select the hip implant. Using the material dropdown in the properties panel, assign titanium to this part. Now it is time to add a fixture. Select the physics tab. In the toolbar, ensure that the mechanical physics tab is on. In the toolbar, select the Restraint tool. Select the appropriate faces on the implant to fix in place, and select Done. Next, we will need to add a force. In the toolbar, select the Force tool. Select the ball joint faces as the target of the load. In the Properties panel, for Force, enter 700 newtons in the negative Y direction, and select Done. If the force vector does not automatically pick the correct direction, you can manually enter the XYZ vector direction of the force. Let's now go to the Simulator tab. Click Launcher to begin the meshing process. This automatically meshes your model, estimates how long the simulation will take to run, and estimates what the likely core hour cost will be. Depending on your OnScale Solve account level, you will get a certain number of cloud hours per month. Once the meshing and estimation process is finished, click Launch to begin the simulation. Now it is time to analyze the results. Once the simulation is finished, select Open Results to open the results in the Results tab. Select the global sensor in the tree to access the simulation outputs. The default mechanical simulation output result is displacement, so let's change that result output to stress. As you can see, the implant experiences the maximum stress on the stem section between the ball joint and the straight bone-like segment. An average-sized human putting all their weight on their implanted leg creates roughly 700 newtons of force on the ball joint of the implant. This produces a maximum stress value of 79 megapascals. The implant is made of titanium and has a yield stress of 120 megapascals, so the implant is not at risk of fracture or failure in this scenario. OnScale Solve is also useful for simulation iterations. If you do choose to change the force load and or add another boundary condition and run another simulation, 
On the results page, OnScale Solve will keep track of the different iterations so you can quickly compare results. In the next lesson, we will take a look at modal analysis in OnScale Solve.